Hi, welcome back to the Finite Math Podcast. Today, we want to look at the calculations of the future value of an increasing annuity using a calculator formula. So here's the TI. Now, let me recall the problem. We had uh, $100 that we're going to be placing into an account at the end of each month for two years and it was going to be paying 4% a year compounded monthly. Now, the formula involved for the future value of a ordinary annuity, a increasing annuity, is given by this expression here, the payment times a fraction where the numerator and denominator are this uh, fairly funny sort of thing. Okay, so how do we calculate this? Well, first of all, uh, we want to try to calculate the, each of the parts separately just so that we don't end up making a, an error with parentheses and things like that. So the first expression, we want to take 1 plus the rate per period raised to the total number of periods. So I'll start and put a parenthesis there. Uh, 1 plus, now what's the rate per period? Well, the annual rate is 4%. 0.04, and we want to divide that by 12 because there's 12 months in a year. Now, that expression, so we close the, the parentheses, it's got to be raised to the total number of periods. Well, you have to know there's 24 months in two years, so you look at the caret 24. All right, so that will take care of the, this part. Now, we want to subtract 1 from that result. That will give us the entire numerator. All right. Now, the denominator, we want to divide this numerator by the rate per period. So I can just say divide by the previous answer. And now I want to put parentheses around this because this is a fraction in the denominator. So it would be 0.04 divided by 12. Okay. And that's uh, how you should do it. All right, now this expression, this is sort of a uh, scaling factor which can be used for any different payment. So if it's $100 in this case, or if we wanted to make $50 or $30 or whatever, so this same scaling factor would work for each of those uh, desired uh, monthly payments. In this case, we want to take this scaling factor and multiply it by 100. That was our... Uh, deposits for each month. All right, and we get the twenty-four ninety-four uh, dollars and twenty-nine cents, just like we did when we worked it out with a simulation. Well, okay, there you have it. Okay, thanks uh, for stopping by here. Next time we're going to take a look at how you do these same calculations using the built-in TVM solver.